Right now in the U.S., yoga is exploding in every direction. It's a very, very exciting time to be in the yoga field in the U.S. and probably most everywhere, I would imagine. But in particular, the intersection of yoga and medical care is exploding. So many different areas of care are looking at a yoga-based model to be implemented within the hospital setting and for patients. This would never have happened 25 years ago. Yoga was con still considered a bit fringy at that point. The question had to be asked, does yoga impact on health? Does it reverse or prevent coronary heart disease. Hospitals would never accept anything, of course, until they definitively find out that, okay, you know, this, this does have an impact. A couple of years ago, Dr. Dean Ornish and Dr. Herbert Benson, their study was funded by Medicare and Medicaid, the US, basically the US government. The statistics were amazing. The cholesterol level dropped 18.5% for an average of 33 points. LDL cholesterol, which is the bad cholesterol, dropped 24%. Average weight loss was 15 pounds. Systolic and diastolic blood pressure both dropped, and exercise functionality increased by 18%. Self-reported depression, which is a big, big problem for heart patients, dropped 45%, which is huge. 50% of heart patients experience depression, and approximately 70 to 75% experience anxiety through their process. Hostility levels dropped 26%, and perceived stress reduced 36%. There have been lots of studies done on uh, meditation and again significant results um, for reducing high blood pressure and cholesterol levels. So really exciting things in terms of research and that's the definitive uh, process for getting yoga implemented in a medical setting. Years ago, the National Institute of Health did a survey and they found across the board that yoga was being used as a treatment for anxiety, depression, stress, eating disorders, high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, stroke, low back pain, and on and on. As well, they found through research that patients were being released um, from the hospital earlier because they were healing faster. What this means is that these yoga-based programs have been found definitively given the stamp of approval by the U.S. government that they do slow down and also reverse heart disease, and that had never, ever been done before. Dean Ornish was the first person, the first researcher, who definitively found that a yoga-based model can reverse heart disease, but all other types of interventions that people had tried, medications and exercise, lifestyle changes, all of those things, they'd never been able to re reverse heart disease. So using a yoga-based model, that was the first time that they got a reversal of heart disease. It was unheard of. This, this is really very exciting that research is bearing this out and therefore more hospitals, more clinics, more doctors, cardiologists, other physicians are very open now to a yoga-based model.